welcome to more gaming fans. I'm your host Joe Moore here, bringing you some more Pokemon Conquest. Um, we're gonna be doing a, a a pretty long stream tonight. We're gonna go ahead and start trying to catch up on what we were doing here. And adjust this real quick. I need to open up my Excel sheet as well. So kick back, kick your feet up, relax, um, get ready to talk about some fun stuff. We're pretty much just here to uh, chill out today. Uh, nice and relaxing stream. Good. And I know everyone can use a little relaxation sometimes. So pop a top, pop a squat, and uh, get ready to have some fun with your pal Joe. I'm also editing my doc and stuff because I just figured out how to do the um, do the portion how uh, to where you can actually alphabetize your stuff. So I'm making sure I make sure to get that. Jesus Christ! I'm for sure gonna do that so everything's all lined up and ready to go. Yeah. All right. So if you don't remember from where we left off last time, we're pretty much just um, trying to uh, get our Pokemon evolved at this point. And of course, we missed. But basically, um, we've been doing TG story. Oh, crit! Beautiful. And um, now we're trying to actually get it completed. But first, we gotta evolve a lot of Pokemon. So, pretty much, we're just gonna be training up and stuff. Nothing too special. Oh, I should have, I should have Thunderbolted there first. Oh well, at least we'll take out the Rog and Roller. And if my doc is right, we got a lot of Pokemon already set up. And, uh, we're mainly doing the warlords right now. We're trying to get them evolved. Got most of them uh, with the Pokemon they need. And now all we got to do left is uh, evolve them. Get them up to 60% length, most of them. Some need to get up to 70. Which, you know. EG is one of those, I believe. Has to get way up there. So, it's going to be a little bit, but nothing we can handle. So Meow finally goes down here. And I feel like we're going to be able to collect most of the present boxes here. I'm not sure if I gave all my people the harmony drum already or not. So definitely going to try to get that completed as well. To help boost their link. Oof, don't do that. Alright, how about we attack here first? There we go. That's the ticket, Eddie. And we're gonna slowly but surely take down this uh, Onyx. We certainly don't need it, unless we keep missing. That's always a freaking thing. Can't hit it with Jolteon either because it's a ground type. But we do get all the boxes possible. Maybe we could have gotten the other one with Ghastly, but eh. I mean, a uh, Haunter. But nothing to worry about. Also, this helps. Uh, this stream is going to help us with YouTube as well because we have been getting a little bit behind on <laughs> videos for YouTube. Oh, no, no, no. What are you doing? Switch to this guy. As you can see, we're almost to level 60, but on, I mean, yeah, almost level 60 on most of these people. But um, being that they're, being that you only get like two to three percent link every victory, kind of. See, even like like this, just battling uh, randos, you don't, you only get like one maybe, depending on how many kills you get. Right. 
We're not gonna worry about perfect linking these guys yet. And then everyone else is gonna train up and stuff while I get my links open because I do need to get some stuff done. Uh, let's see here. Mark all is red. Open the link for the warriors. How to evolve Pokemon and Pokemon Conquest Link for the Warriors. And I'm actually going to take the time real quick to go ahead and put the Warriors in here. So, Hero, of course. Nobunaga. I'm having to like look around my mic here because I, I can't I I don't know I just don't seem to put my hands in the right spot when I'm typing so just like whatever this will work that'll do donkey that'll do um, right there we go so now we can continue on Oichi and then I'm gonna put them in uh, order alphabetically as well. Chica, again, Chio. I don't think I have any of the uh any of the people uh, fully evolved either. Tanari. To hide. Sorry if you get up close and personal with my face. Yoshihiro. Uh, Nene. Shinjin. Masamuni. Kenshin. Yoshimoto. The worst one. So I gotta remember to do that too. Yoshimoto has his own story, so I need to get him an actual usable Pokemon. So whenever I have to do his thing, it's not such a pain in the ass. No, just no. Okay. Kotaro, who's thing is most annoying because you got to get a Zora but at least they have the code for it and it being the fact that he's the only one that needs it it's gonna make it easier so hand bay can bay Mushigi Gracia Anzu, which we're almost evolved him as well. Kunoichi, the one that's going to be one of the most annoying to get because her Sneasel just doesn't want to pop up. Ikimura. Ikimura. Magoichi. And the only way to evolve him is to have three female warlords in his party as well. So he knows what he wants. Kanetsuga. Aya. Kai. Okuni. Ranmaru. Uh. Tadakatsu. Ina, Eiji of course, Mitsunari, Kiyomasi, or Kiyomasa, Kiyomasi, I don't know why I read it like that, Masanori, probably because most of them end with an I, but, you know, it is what it is, all borders, make it white, there we go. 
So those are good to go as well. So let's see here. I guess we can attack. I wish she would attack Spectra, but I kind of glad she's not. Because I hate that. I hate the map. So we're going to go ahead and attack this thing again. And kick their ass. Hopefully evolve somebody along the way. I'm actually going to move this thing over a little bit. There we go. Skip all that. Whew. Like I said, it's going to be a bunch of repeated battles, but... We need to evolve these characters one way or another. go it's probably better all right now let's go ahead and see what actually we need to jump over okay so steelix and layer on are over there so i'm gonna go ahead and jump you and i'm also gonna jump hit eg over there because there's a dra there's dragons i mean at least Iron Head will hit decently neutral. Um, Duat can be the next man up since it's closest. I don't think Hancha can jump, so I'm going to just move it over. And of course, Ujiyasu is just going to sit there being annoying. But today is a water kind of day. Beautiful. That's exactly what I wanted. Alright. I think we're in a perfect position to send Dragonair back, too. Up on that, uh, ramp. Oh, yeah. We are. So, we're not going to kill it by any means. But, we can send it back to where it came from. Now this, we will kill. Oh, big time. And of course, it's sturdy ability. It's fine though, it'll get knocked out in the next turn. Especially with Duot making its way. Dang, Amta could have jumped all the way up there. Would rather not put it right in the heart of a uh, enemy country either. All right, so Sneasel's falling into the same, the perfect spot, and uh, most of them are gonna get really lined up for our uh, rock slide here, as long as we don't miss. Alright, so do what? Uh, you can come back here actually. We need to bring the fight to us. <clears throat> get shield on the kill there. Maybe we can get the recruitment. Not that we're going to evolve them in this story because they need to be high level. Like real high level. Alright, so we'll leave Jolty on there. Just enough space to get the Sneasel. And we're actually not going to go towards Golbat. We're going to go away. Because uh, we want to get it lined up for the rock slide as well. <clears throat> and we're just going to bring Jolteon over here as well. Alright, so Ranmaru is going to get kind of trapped over here with a few Pokemon. Which is good. Good for us anyway. <clears throat> Felix is making his way over as well. 
and Golbat's gonna be ready to take that uh, take that rock slide real nicely. All right, so that didn't quite knock out the gold bat, so we're gonna go ahead and give it another shot there. Beautiful. And we're gonna go ahead and bring it back this way and hit spear to him. Two hit KO there. Oh, and we missed. That's annoying. But we're going to go ahead and send it back again. Rinse and repeat there. That way it can't hit us, but we just keep getting the attacks off on it. That's nice. But welcome, welcome to the stream, guys. Hopefully you are having a good day today. I've had a good day. I went to the gym, ate some pho. And um, it's been chilling ever since. Just here to play some Pokemon now. I did grind this a little bit, like very minimal. Me and my wife were watching TV and I was like, might as well get a little bit of a head start on these levels. You know, it is what it is. But it shows here that uh, Manny1991 uh, joined. Uh, nine hours ago, so I do want to say uh, thank you Melvin for joining Twice lucky I'm gonna keep twice lucky But yeah, man, I really appreciate you showing that support and joining me today We're certainly on a goal to try to get some more followers Why can I hit from there? That's weird. Alright, well let's go ahead and try to knock it out here. It's lowered our accuracy quite a bit. Yep, there we go. Down goes... Down goes that mon right there. And I guess on the bridge it doesn't get the box. Which is interesting, but you know, fair. Fair enough. All right, so Kiji's officially bringing the fight to us. So let's go ahead and start getting our power hitters over there as well. Dang, I think uh, after this battle, Yoshihiro should evolve. So Jolteon. I mean, Joe's already evolved. Uh, we can't evolve it completely until we do the like final story and get Arceus. So I'm not worried about him. I just have him on this team. Should I actually probably switch it now that I think about it? Because it's not going to help us any. I mean, other than having a very strong Pokemon on our side. But lucky for us, we get the crit and a flinch. Off on that Dratini. And that bridge is like, dude, I was supposed to be gone like 20 minutes ago. You can fucking wait. Alright, here we go. Get some more chip damage off against that uh, Dratini there. No crit this time. But we do get the para. And Hex should work out nicely. Being the fact that it is uh, paralyzed. So Hex will do double damage than what it would normally do. And let's get this rock slide to finish it off. Beautiful. And we get the flinch, so we've just been getting lucky right there. Lucky streak. We take those. We certainly got to get Moto Chica evolved, too. Oshawa looks cool in this game. I just don't like its move, Aqua Tail. It misses a lot. And PG just pulling from the back right there.
So Jolteon can't get a hit in, but everything else is going to pretty much get some magic going here. Want to do that so uh, when we thrust, it doesn't uh, knock it back. Because Wake Up Slap will move it out of the way, and I don't want it to get too far out of the way here. So Jagged Edge comes off, but Oshuat should finish it off here. We'll rally just in case. And yeah, 61 damage is going to do the dang thing. So down goes Steelix. And we win back our land from Oichi's army. Look at that. Oh, you know what? We got to evolve. Uh... Oh, wow. Here we go. An evolution. Bone baby. That's what I'm talking about. Now we gotta do another battle with them to register it because I did it before and it, it didn't register and I was pissed. Cause I like finished like a bunch of people at the last episode like on the last battle. Oh yeah, Shildon's evolving. Beautiful. But yeah, I I did a bunch of battles at the very end on my personal account. And uh, I beat the game story. So that means, you know, you beat it already. You can't do another battle. So I didn't know you had to do another battle after they've evolved already. To register them in the decks. So it turned out that I technically didn't evolve them yet. So I was like, that's fucking stupid. Why would they do that? Because then you do the last episode without meaning to. And then, boom, gone. You know, it is what it is. Still an amazing game. Get that wire out of the way. Keep kicking it. Let's put in my my uh, handbag. All right. So knowing uh, Jolteon is not going to help us, or it's not going to evolve or anything, we're going to go ahead and swap it with. We're going to swap it with Pineco. Because <laughs> uh, he's got a way to go. And I do got to remember, before this episode is over, I need to uh, put him in the bug place so we can get the... Uh, we can get like a scissor on him or something. So whenever we have to do his episode uh, later, he'll be fine. So let me make sure uh, these warriors have what they need on them. What? No, I, I need to go buy some stuff real quick. Um, the Oichi, where you at? You have the best charisma, honestly. Oh wait, we're fighting Oichi's army. All right, so we ain't gonna get that, but we'll just go ahead and grab somebody. Oh, we have no money. Why don't we have money? Uh, that sucks. Maybe that's why we haven't done it. Okay, well, anyway. Uh, let's go ahead and see what we have in our box here. So, we gotta get a final kill with Girder and Boulder. To evolve them oh and hunter because they're trade evolutions that's the only way to evolve them and we don't have what we need either so it is what it is um info for you swap to eevee uh equip Eevee with a stone. Let's go Firestone. He should evolve after this.
Okay, so there's exactly three Pokemon. So let's go ahead and get Oshawa to kill the Larvitar. Him to focus the Audino. Hit Starly. Oh, man. We can't hit any of those normal types. It's okay. We'll use the other three to go into the other cave. Might not even work the way I'm thinking either. Cause I think they need to get the final kill. Like in the in the whole battle. But we'll find out. One of them's gonna evolve here. I swear I saw somebody's picture on my phone. I was like, I don't remember messaging them. But it's all good. Alright, let's go ahead and get the kill there. And then we're going to go ahead and take out the Larvitar. And then after this, just when we see who evolves, we're going to go ahead and end the, uh, the YouTube episode, not the Facebook episode. Facebook will keep going. I mean, I mean, sorry, Twitch. Twitch will keep going. We ain't going to stop the stream anytime soon. Like I said, we got a few hours to actually play this game. Try to complete everything. So, so far, they both got a final kill on a Pokemon. We'll see... Uh, which one actually evolves here? I'm gonna collect this treasure box. Hopefully, get some money. Oh, shiny bell. We do need to sell some items for sure. Go ahead, awakening. Jesus. And Boulder might get the final kill here. Oh, you know what? I think they need to be at level 62. Like 60, like Link 60. So we'll see. Let's see if Verder actually gets an evolution here. Again, we're not recruiting people either because we recruit too many and uh, we won't be able to uh, finish our thing. The story will be finished too soon. Oh, here we go. Verder is watching. Okay, let's see. Okay, so yeah, it's just a final blow on an enemy warrior. So that's awesome. Conkelder is evolved. And like I said, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode for YouTube. So people on YouTube, thank you for watching. If you want to join me on streams, I'll be, I'm will be i always on Twitch. I stream uh, pretty much every day except Sunday regularly. And uh, I appreciate you all for watching. I'll see you all guys next time on YouTube. Uh, Twitch streamers. Uh, Hang out. <laughs>